Hi, I'm Julia and welcome to my Thermomix kitchen. And today I want to show you how to make a Thai style curry. And I just made myself some curry paste and I will put a link to that video down below in the description. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's supposed to be a red curry, but it came out more like brownish red. So that's all good for me as long as it tastes good. Um, so I'm going to start by adding a little bit more oil to the pan and I'm using some coconut oil and that's about a tablespoon, a teaspoon. And I'm going to add that, turn this on to Varoma, um, I'm going to go with 10 minutes, speed one. And I'm going to have some chopped onions here that I'm going to add. Get those cooked. And then I'll add the lid. And we'll be back in 10 minutes and go on to the next step. Alrighty, so the 10 minutes are up. I'll turn this off. I'll have a quick look. And I don't think usually you actually have to cook the onions first. I just, that was the only vegetable that I had that would be as long. And so I wanted to give them a head start. Uh, everything's nice and, and warm in there and, and cooked. And now I'm going to add, so the curry paste that I had in there, I don't know, with maybe two or three tablespoons, something like that. This recipe I had here, it says to use 50 grams of curry paste. I'm going to add some coconut milk now. Looks like it's half a cup, but I want to weigh this. Yeah, so half a cup, about 75 grams of coconut milk. Um, and that gets cooked with the what's already in there. I want to go for two minutes on speed one Varoma. And then um, I will be back in two minutes for the next pieces. Okay, so I've got to turn on the mic for this second. So I'll just talk you through what I'm doing. You can see everything's cooked nicely. And now we're going to add some fish sauce. I'm going to add four tablespoons of fish sauce. And then I'm going to add some more coconut milk, another half cup of coconut milk. Or if you're using a canned coconut milk, just use a third of a can. And then all of that's going to be cooked at 100 for 4 minutes at speed 1. Okay, here's my sound. Okay, so that's speed two. So that was a that was about no, that was about that was two tur two uh, chicken breasts that I had cut up uh, into bite-sized pieces. I added the butterfly and then I put it in at speed two in order to get the, the chicken nicely coated with the the curry sauce. Um, and now it needs to cook, and so now we can go down to stir speed. Um, and we have temperature 100, 
And at this point, I'm also going to add, I have one red bell pepper that I cut up. I'm going to add that in here. And yeah, it looks good. Everything's cooking. So we'll put the lid on and we'll be back in 15 minutes to see how things are. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I got a few more minutes left on the um, cooking time here. But I wanted to add a few more things. And what I have here is I have some broccoli that I actually cooked for dinner the other day. Um, and that I think is a good addition here. And since it's already fully cooked, I'm adding it towards the end just to reheat it a little bit. So there goes the broccoli. And then I want to add some peas. So I've got some peas here. Yeah, a quarter of this bag or so, about a hundred grams is probably what I'm adding here in, in peace. Put the lid back on and then let just go for the remaining three minutes. And we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I actually have a minute left and at this point I want to add another half a cup of um, coconut milk and if you're using canned coconut milk just do a third a third and a third I make my own and so that's why I'm adding a half cup and I'm also going to add uh, basil and it's just a handful in this case it's just regular old Italian basil but if you can get Thai basil definitely go for that and I have a few more extra leaves here so we'll just shove those in and put the lid back on and then oops, there's another piece we'll actually turn this up just to make sure that this all disappears into this curry and then that's uh, that's about it for this recipe and then you can serve it with some rice which of course you can make in the thermomix too this is not a recipe where you can cook the the rice while you're cooking everything else so you know if you want everything to be done at the same time then you just have to make the rice separately or you make the rice first and then make the curry so uh, i will show you what it looks like when i have a plate it up Alrighty, and here it is, all plated up, and this, I mean, the whole Thermomix bowl was full, so this will easily feed four people. And uh, I'm going to enjoy this now, I will let you know what it tastes like, and please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel, so that you can be not notified of future videos that I'm making, and let me know what else you like to see cooked in the Thermomix. Thanks, and have a great day.